Hey guys, welcome back to Steffi D Creates. If you're new, welcome, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. We do a lot of fun DIYs and crafts on here. And if you are new, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the notifications bell so you never miss out on a Steffi D Creates video. Since it's still the beginning of the year, we're gonna be making something to decorate and bring a smile to your face, a little bit of motivation or inspiration to brighten up your year. We're gonna be making these super cute farmhouse style serving tray inspirational quotes. You can hang them on the wall as an art piece. You can put them in your bedroom, in your bathroom, depending on whatever kind of saying you want. I just love this one. You will forever be my always. But there's so many different ways to do this. You can put any saying on them, create adventures for yourself. This one especially is near and dear to my heart and I'm gonna put it on my wall in my office so I always see a little bit of inspiration and never forget to keep creating adventures. They only take a couple of minutes and it's a great way to just have that daily reminder of whatever you need, whether it's inspiration or motivation or a reminder of family or put it in your bathroom with a sign that says remember to wash your hands. I don't know who doesn't wash their hands, but you get the idea. As always, full instructions will be on my blog, StuffyDCreates.com. Links to all the products I used in this video in the comments below. Also in the comments below will be the link to my Steffi D Creates newsletter, so don't forget to sign up for that so you'll get more tips and tricks and life hacks direct to your inbox. So click on the link and sign up. I can't wait to show you how easy these projects are, so let's get started. Come craft with me, Steffi D. Here's what you're going to need plastic or metal serving trays. These look heavy and fancy, but I actually got them from the Dollar Tree. White spray paint, wall stickers with cute sayings on them, and scissors. The first thing you wanna do is you want to spray paint your trays. Now, depending on how big your saying is or how many you're going to divide your saying into will dictate how many trays that you need. So you usually only need about two to three. My sayings are shorter, so I'm gonna be using two for this example, but totally up to you, especially if you wanna make a lot and decorate every room. So the first thing you want to do is take these outside in a well-lit area and spray paint them to let them sit overnight. You want them to be completely dry before we start to work on them. So I've already let mine sit overnight so mine are spray painted and completely dry ready to go. Next you want to take your sayings and you can if you have a Cricut you can make your own but I don't have a Cricut yet so I bought these. They are super cute. I love the saying create adventures for yourself. So we're going to decide how many trays we're going to divide it into. I'm going to cut this into two. Create Adventures is going to be on one, For Yourself is going to be on the next one. You can find these anywhere with so many different sayings. The possibilities are endless. You can make really funny ones for the bathroom or really inspirational ones for your bedroom or food related ones for your kitchen. There are so many options. If your saying is not already cut up the way that you want, take your scissors and we're going to cut it how we want the sayings to be. So I have my first part, Create Adventures, and we're going to peel this off the back. Be very careful, you don't want it to get stuck on anything else but your serving tray. Center it out, and I like to start at the top and smooth it down so there's no air bubbles in it. And our first plate is done. These are so cute, I love these. We're gonna repeat it with our second piece. And this one I'm actually not going to put right in the center, and I will explain why in just a second. We're gonna put this a little bit closer to the top. And the reason I didn't put it in the center is because mine also came with these cute little arrows, so I'm gonna put that below the same. Just below my word. And there we go, my second piece is done. And it's totally up to you on how you wanna hang it. If you wanna put some command strips on the back and hang them on the wall that way, or if you have a picture frame stand, you can put these in the stand next to each other and have the sayings all around. I just love these, there are so many possibilities for this. It's a great way to start the new year with some new inspirational sayings, enjoy. These are just so much fun and they're so easy, right? Like I've always said, if I had a Cricut, I would be making so many things. Somebody send me a Cricut. If you liked today's video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you wanna see more farmhouse style decor, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll continue this farmhouse theme. These are so cute. You can put anything on here. You can paint them any color. I just did white because it's neutral and white goes with everything but if your home is blue and you want to do these in blue that would also look great the best thing about these stickers is that they're clear so they will shine through any color that you put behind it as 
always, full instructions will be on my blog, stephydcreates.com. Links to all the products I used in this video in the comments below. If you make these, send me a picture. I would love to see what sayings you put on them or how you decorate them or how you hang them. Upload it and use the hashtag stephydcreates so I can see your awesome creations. I hope you liked today's video. There is so much more coming out for the year. We have some big ideas and I can't wait to share them with you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.